Howdy folks. The fly under discussion today is a uh, fly I call a brown drake Paris spinner. Um, a few years ago, my angling friends and I began to uh, discover a population of this these brown drakes, ephemera similens, on one of the rivers that we like to fish. I think it might be more accurate to say that the insects had found the river and had begun to colonize it. Uh, it might not be a happy thing. These brown drakes are, are uh, known to, to be a, a cool water insect as well as a true cold water insect and, and uh, sometimes prefer uh, some marl or, or uh, detritus on the bottom. But in the meantime, uh, we have fish to catch. The they're, They have an interesting lifestyle that, from what I read, the um, the, the spinner fall and the emergence are practically simultaneous late in the day. That's kind of a last light kind of fly. So here's a fly that will kind of split the difference from that. The, the, uh, one of the sources I read said that trout prefer the spinners because the, the, the nymphs emerge so fast uh, and, and the spinners just make it easier to target. But this one with this pair of post, uh, uh, post helps you see the fly and, and uh, might also, if the trout are, are finicky and want the, the, uh, the dun rather than the spinner that you've got that. The, uh, the hackle in this case is, is grizzly hackle uh, we'll, because you, again, if it's a spinner wing, they're kind of a, a modely wing and you want to take care of that. The, the tails on this are uh, some also sort of a, 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 a compromise between the spinner's tail and the, and the, and the imago's tail. Uh, but all in all, it's been a, an effective fly. Uh, you, you have to go home and once you find these, these phenomenon, you have to try to work on some sort of an effective imitation. Started with some uh, less than stellar efforts like this. This was grouse wings on a standard length of uh, size 10 hook. Looked up, it, it looks, the, the, the hook bend just looks ridiculous there. The grouse feathers uh, did, actually did a fair job of looking like the 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 wing of the of the natural insect until it hit the water. Then the grouse uh, uh, fiber, the fibers on the feathers just glummed together, and you, and you had virtually nothing. So that, hence the uh, the switch to a to a, a synthetic there. But enough yammering. Let's get to work on tying one of these flies. Yeah, the vise is a 1280 Daiichi in size 10 that I previously debarbed. I've started my 8 aught camel brown thread. Uh, taking it to the rear. It's hanging over where the barb would have been uh, before I debarbed it. We're going to use Coque de Leon fibers as our tailing materials here. I like Coque de, de Leon for this fly. Uh, well, partly because it's speckled and partly because um, you could use, micro, while you could use micro fibets, I believe that they're actually a little too stiffish for this application. They're so long that the fly is going to be uh, so wide that I think that that uh, having those stiff, really stiff fibers back there is going to inhibit uh, the trout closing its mouth around the fly. The 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 tails ought to be at least as long as the as the length of the hook. In this case, we're going to put a little bit of a bump here. Uh, I'll show you why in a second. Measure out our length. Tilt this a little to the side. Let thread torque take that to the top. When you pull down, that'll that. The pressure against that bump will splay these fibers a little bit. We're kind of splitting the difference between a, a spinner's tail and, a, and an imago's tail in that case. Then we'll just leave them attached as we come forward. Create kind of an underbody a little bit. We have a lot of dubbing to go here. And then when we're about mm, perhaps two eye spaces back, we're going to start our wing. This is uh, polypropylene uh, macrame yarn from Charlie's Flybox in Insect Gray. I've, I've taken a single strand, brushed it out, and then doubled, twisted, doubled it, twisted it, then doubled it again. This uh, helps uh, uh, keep it out of your way for one thing as you're, as you're, as you're tying the fly. It will start this, get that snug down well. Take a couple of turns in front of it to stand it up. And then we'll take our wraps around the post You can see that, that this eases the process of uh, having a good stiff yarn base, uh, eases the process of getting up and down the, 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 the vertical part of this so that you can uh, 
eventually wrap hackle to it. Then we'll trim this off as shallow an angle as is possible. Trim away. Sorry for the camera shake. Trim that tightly away. Get that locked down. We'll take uh, some JB Super Weld, the low viscosity stuff in the bottle, and you know, put a little on that post. You'll be surprised if you do this how, how this sturdies up the post and makes it easier to deal with as you wrap hackle. Then we'll take our our ribbing material. In this case, I'm using uh, an odd thing I admit. It's a Gutebrod size A rod winding thread in yellow because I have it. And I and I like the way that it works for this fly uh, because it, it stays atop the dubbing a little bit better than fine gold wire, which is really a suitable alternative and probably a more practical thing for, for virtually everyone. Now that we're back here, We'll begin to dub our body. This is mahogany brown super fine dubbing. We'll try to maintain a reasonable, reasonably thin dubbing strand on here as we go forward. The tighter the dubbing, the slower water penetrates it as you use the as you fish the fly, and we'll. Uh, I mean, it'll float longer between applications of floatant or drying it out and then more properly. And then floating it. More dubbing. Tighten up that dubbing a bit. There. I've seen tidier looking thoraxes, but it'll do. This is going to represent the, the abdominal segments on the insect. Again, don't be afraid to use fine gold wire if that's what you have. Trim away that excess. We'll start our hackle now. You'll note that I've trimmed short on one side and long on this side. This will help uh, direct the hackle as we, as we wrap it back down the stem. Shorten up our thread here a tad. And get up the post here. Back down the post. Dub in front of the of the post. Again, I apologize for the appearance of the thorax. We could do better work uh, in this area. Where do I get the royal we? Huh? It's my problem here. Remember, you're going to be coming back up this, so. You can uh, do this in two layers. Again, I apologize for the camera shake. We'll wind our hackle.
Hackle size is another uh, thing that's up to you. This is Grizzly Hackle. Uh, I like the modeling. After all, you're, you're, the idea here is that you're uh, imitating, while well, you're seeking flotation, of course, but you're also imitating a spinner's wing, and the spinners have kind of a, a tra semi-transparent wing, but it's got venation in it. Uh, so we'll maybe get one more wrap in here. You notice I've got the thread hanging on the back side. Now we can just sweep that down and under here. Lock that down. If you have any any wild and crazy ones that you've trapped, you can get them out of here at this point. We can trim that short. And we'll bring our thread forward. We'll apply. A, I've become a big fan of, of finishing parachute flies on the post. This one we could whip finish, but uh, I've also become kind of a fan of of this method, which is a as nearly as I know, something that Dave Whitlock started. We've used uh, our our cyanoacrylate glue one more time. It only takes a couple of wraps, really, two or three. We'll pull that tight. You can tell when it's set. We'll pull it forward. That Pulling it forward and getting that pressure on it helps set that glue, too. And now when we let go, you can see that it's just loose there so that we know that we've locked it. I've never had a failure of this method, I have to say. Trim that out. Take one more look down here. Now, the magic of cutting this post open. And how high you want the post is also your personal preference, but I like you know, a little bit of an angle and something like this. Fluff that back out. And there we are, your, your Paris Spinner Brown Drake.